Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video or a review on the Away Everywhere bag that I recently purchased. Um, I got this bag for um, a trip that I took last month and even though I've only used it once so far, I can already say that I truly, truly love this bag and would 100% recommend. Um, it's a great, great um, organizer for you to take with you, whether it is on trips, you know, school, work, whatever the case may be, I think this is a great, great bag. And I can't wait to just dive in and show you guys all the details, um, kind of go through all the items that I took with me on this trip, what fits, and any other kind of thought that I have about this bag. But before we jump into it, I just wanted to do a quick um, little update on what's been going on with me because I know I haven't been posting as often as I would have liked, but it's just been kind of a hectic few weeks. Back in October, um, I planned this whole surprise um, getaway for my husband's 30th birthday where we flew to the Big Sur in California, which is actually the reason why I bought this bag in the first place. But, you know, just spending all my time to get the details right and to keep it a surprise until the last second, um, you know, just really took uh, a great deal of effort. And not only that, but I've also been spending some time on my blog um, and kind of rebranding it slightly because as some of you may know, it was previously called Thoughts on the Blog, but I have since updated it to just be Sassy Carol so that it's consistent with my YouTube brand. So I'm so, so, so excited about that. Um, I have no technology coding knowledge whatsoever. So learning how to, you know, change the domain and all these crazy things took a lot of time from me, but I'm happy to say that the site is great. It's all back to, um, you know, the way I envisioned it and it's consistent with my YouTube channel and it kind of all flows together. You can actually access my YouTube channel through my blog and I'm going to be using that as my platform to talk about French Bulldogs, which I have two, um, traveling, which I love and style which you guys already know this channel is for so i'm so 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 excited about it if you haven't checked it out please do so um, i just posted about um, holiday gift ideas for different budgets and i also included a post about our trip to the big sur including you know trip details itinerary tips all sorts of things but let's get right back into it. Let's talk about the Away Everywhere bag. So this bag retails for 165 and it comes in six different colors. Um, two of them, I believe, have a leather finish and the other four come in nylon. So this is a black nylon bag. And as you can see, the whole bag really is nylon except the handles um, and the details here um, the little hook clip here but also down in the back here actually this is metal but yeah all nylon and they do offer you the opportunity to personalize the bag i believe for an extra 35 dollars i just chose not to do it and the reason why I even went with nylon to begin with versus the leather is because I really wanted a low maintenance kind of easy care bag. And leather, I think sometimes it needs conditioning. It just needs extra care. It could get scratched. And I wanted nothing to do with that. So, you know, I just went with nylon. Um, mainly because bags get, especially travel bags, they get kind of pushed under the seats. They can get stowed on top. They can get pushed around. And I just did not want to worry about, you know, the outside of my bag looking scratched or anything like that. Um, but I really, really am happy with the nylon um, finishing of this bag. When I purchased it, it came in this really nice and big um, cloth bag. The whole packaging, the whole experience with Away, me being a first time customer has been really great. 
the whole processing, um, ordering, delivering has been flawless, very fast, no complaints whatsoever. So I have no objections with recommending them as a company at this point. The bag did come with uh, an added accessory, I guess you can call it that. It's a shoulder pad, which I have not used yet. And honestly, I don't think I will really use it. And I'll go into the details a little bit later about why. But the material of the shoulder um, pad or the shoulder handle is really, really good. The clips that come with it, this is I think like metal, but it's thick and it kind of comes in this pivoting kind of entrapment thing to make it for easy maneuvering. Um, the cord itself is very thick and strong. Um, and the shoulder pad is padded. Like it's actually a thick pad. I believe this is maybe leather, but it's, it's a big pad. It's cushiony and it just feels like a quality um, accessory or quality piece of a bag, which matches the overall kind of vibe of this bag. And so for you to clip it on, you would just clip it here on the sides. Fully adjustable also, by the way. But this is how it goes. And this is how it sits on your shoulder. This would be a good option if you're not um, taking a carry-on with you. So say if you wanna use this bag as a gym bag, a work bag, um, and you don't really have anywhere to prop this bag on, then I can definitely see why I would use the um, kind of shoulder um, strap, but otherwise I don't really need it. And that is because this bag is meant to slide over your carry-on. So there is an opening back here and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it fits on my carry-on and why it's just a no-brainer of you know the reason I don't use this shoulder pad so let me show you guys it has this pocket over here see my hand goes through it and here I have my carry-on it's a hard shell one and so I can just slide this on here and it fits perfectly. And as you can even see, it doesn't really bulge out the size, although I know that every bag is different, but it just fits really nicely on my carry-on bag. So personally, I just don't really have a need for the, um, the little handle, um, the shoulder pad, which you can clip right here on the sides. Perfect. So um, while I'm down here, I guess I can just do a quick up close view of the bag. It has this really nice nylon material with these leather accents. So as you guys can see, it has a little away um, imprinted here on the side, the leather um, handles over here and on the side, the little clips that I mentioned. And then back here, besides this being a little um, thingy for you to put on a carry-on, it also has a zipped, zippered pocket. So you can put something that you need to grab easily during the flight and I'll go into exactly what I put in here. And this is the other side, pretty much the same as the other. Um, and it just slides super easily, which is great. And then the bottom really is smooth. So there's no, nothing really to catch uh, as you slide it underneath the floor. The one nice thing I actually forgot to mention that there is a compartment for umbrellas. So if you just zipper that up, I put my umbrella right here, which I thought this was really neat. Sometimes when it rains, you just don't know what to do with an umbrella 
or you just don't want an umbrella to take up a lot of your space if you don't even know if it's gonna rain. So that fits right here. And it doesn't really cause a bulge anywhere. So the umbrella is here, but it's not lumpy. It's straight. So again, a whole like full-sized umbrella is over here. If you guys don't believe me. Ta-da! You see? It's in there. And it just slides right in. And you can just close it. I don't like an awkward stitch. There you go. Perfect. All right. Um, let's talk about what I took with me on this past trip. I tried to keep mostly everything I traveled with. Uh, when I came back from the Big Sur, I attempted to leave everything in here. I only took out maybe my makeup bag and a few other essentials that I truly had to. But otherwise, everything else in here is what I take with me on a trip. Starting with the back pocket, which I think is so, so nice for you to just put essentials into, things that you need to get rather quickly, such as your passport, your wallet, your phone, keys, you know, whatever the case may be that you want easy access to, this is the pocket. And so back here, I have uh, Lysol wipes, I have a scrunchie, I have my travel wallet, usually when I travel, I use more compact wallets. This is a Michael Kors one. And I have just a lip balm. This one just so happened to be the one that I got from the plane. So all of these things go back here, as well as, you know, if I were to travel to an international destination, I would put my passport in here, as well as my phone, if I weren't using it to film this video. So all of that goes down here and it doesn't really make the bag bulky. And that's what I love about this bag is you can put a lot of things in here and it doesn't feel like clumpy, um, bumpy. It's smooth mostly all around. Um, but I'll show you guys what else I have in here. Opening the main compartment. I'm going to open this and it's like, what is in here? Uh, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to take everything off to show you what's in here and then I'll do a little show and tell of all the compartments and things that are inside the bag. First, I have this, I'm going to butcher this, Pajar Raven, the mini Kaken, Kaken bag, which is also new. Um, I got this for this uh, trip to the Big Sur as well. And apologies for the butchering. Maybe some of you guys know how to say this. I don't. It's my first time owning this brand. So um, I do take this bag with me, or I took this bag with me because typically when I travel, I like to take a backpack of sorts with me or some, some sort of compact bag or an alternative bag for me to take out and about with me. And so I took this bag but I can also sometimes take with me, I have a um, long champ mini backpack that folds into this small little rectangle. So sometimes when I go on trips, I take that as well, but I wanna just try out this brand. I'm gonna do a separate video on this bag. So that is the biggest item really that I have inside my Away Everywhere bag. And inside this bag, I use this also as another organization um, tool so inside this bag i also have my ysl bag so it's a bag within a bag within a bag um and then they in here i have my ysl wallet on chain which i keep in a little dust bag and inside here i will put any sort of jewelry that i'm traveling traveling with i put this on this bag so all of this goes inside this bag over here and this bag also has other little things like um, this long champ little cosmetic pouch thing but i have this inside this away um, everywhere bag inside i also have my to toiletries bag where i keep my makeup creams you know all sorts of things liquids especially if um I'm traveling somewhere only with my carry-on. I will be sure to put these with easy access. 
I also have my um, reading glass case and my sunglasses. I have my retainer. I used to wear, to wear braces, so I have a retainer. I have my iPad, um, some medicine, and then I have this little baggie, which I use for technology cables and such. But I'm going to just, I didn't take it all out because they are actually in pockets inside the bag. So if I go in here, hope you guys can see this, but there is the one big pocket over here in the back. And this actually has a zipper. So you can open and close this big pouch back here. That's where I have my technology bag with all my cables. And I can zipper that closed. And then in front of that, you have two pouches in the front. I would say they're like medium size. And I put my glass cases in here. So my reading glasses, my sunglasses. Then you have the one big compartment where I had my, my mini backpack and then my um, cosmetic bag. This was all in here in the middle. I guess I should note that there is a little key holder in here as well if you wanna use it. And turning over to the other side of the bag, you have this big, um, padded compartment back here so this is where I kept my iPad but it does fit uh, I think up to a 17 inch MacBook so I do have my MacBook Air here that fits right back here so I will show you guys what that looks like fits perfectly I believe this is a 13 inch MacBook Air, but it fits nicely. And there's this magnetic closure here. Well, it's a magnetic with a clip. So it securely closes back here. So as you guys can see, it really holds this pocket closed. Um, and that was I wanna say one of the things I was looking for in a travel bag was a padded section for my laptop. Granted, I didn't take my laptop on this trip, but if I'm going to an international destination and I wanna take my laptop with me, I wanted a bag that would let me do that. So, for anyone that likes to travel with their computers, this bag allows you to do just that, but I kept my iPad back here. So that is that. And there's also two other padded sections. Um, one I put my retainer and the other one I just have like a little um, medication that I use. So all of that goes back here. So it's very roomy as you guys can hopefully see. And you may be able to tell also there's a bump or a lump back here on the floor of the bag. And that is the umbrella that, as you guys may remember, sits right over here. So, kind of going back into showing how everything looks, I put my cosmetics bag in here. And I also just put my mini pankin backpack put that in here and this is what it looks like even though it's very hard for me to show you guys where you guys really appreciate it but I think personally it fits everything I would need for a trip also would fit a water bottle in here so it's 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 packed, but I could fit other things as well. And it zips super easily, like smooth sailing. And it just keeps the shape of the bag. So even though I have all sorts of things in there, bags inside of bags inside of bags, I have an umbrella, you know, I have all these odd shaped things. It's still pretty rectangular, pretty slimming, um, and overall, just very minimalistic, which I, I like. But 
yeah. So this is the Away Everywhere bag and um, I have used it once. So I can say um, pretty confidently that this bag is gonna last me a while, or at least I hope so. Um, I had no trouble whatsoever ordering it. I'm already a fan of the Away brand. And so, um, yeah, if you guys have any comments, thoughts on this bag, or if you just wanna use um, a little bit of a discount, $20 off, I uh, hope you use the code below or the link below. And otherwise, it was nice to get back in here and share this with you. And I hope to see you guys around. Bye, guys.